In this video, I will go over the procedure for bulk certificate management between clusters. We use the bulk certificate management if you want to share a set of certificates between clusters. This step is required for system functions that require established trust between clusters, such as extension mobility cross-cluster. It is also used for the migration of phones between clusters. This procedure creates a PKCS12 file that contains certificates for all nodes in the cluster. Every participating cluster must export certificates to the same SFTP server and SFTP directory. Bulk certificate management must be done manually on both source nodes and destination nodes. Both source nodes and destination nodes must be up and running at this point. Phones are registered with the source nodes. I will be doing this on an 1151 destination cluster and a 1052 source cluster. On the destination cluster's publisher, Navigate to the OS Administration webpage and choose Security and then Bulk Certificate Management. Once you've entered your SFTP server credentials, hit Save. Once the update is successful, hit Export. In the pop-up, select All and then click Export. Once it is complete, you will see Update Successful. Hit Close. You can see that the files are created on the destination cluster, and they are also present in the directory of the SFTP server. Next, we move to the source cluster and repeat the same procedure. In the source cluster, we can see the destination cluster's files. Click Export. Once again, select All and click Export. We see Update Successful and click Close. This should now be updated with both source and destination cluster files. While we do export on both source and destination clusters, you only need to consolidate on one of the clusters. After that, we will import the consolidated file to both clusters. Click the Consolidate button and then click All and Consolidate. We see Update Successful and click Close. If we check the SFTP directory, we can see the files from both the source and destination clusters. If we go back to the destination cluster and refresh this page, we will see the import button. We will next click import. Select all and import. We see update successful. Next, we go to the source cluster and click Import. We select All to import all of the TFTP certificates. We see Update Successful. The TFTP certificates have now been imported from the central SFTP server to both clusters. Just to summarize, we export from both clusters, consolidate on any one cluster, and import to both clusters. When the bulk certificate import is performed, certificates are uploaded to the remote cluster as follows. CAPF gets uploaded as Call Manager Trust. Tomcat gets uploaded as Tomcat Trust. Call Manager gets uploaded as Call Manager Trust and Phone SASD Trust. ITL Recovery gets uploaded as Phone SASD Trust and Call Manager Trust. The phones will have to be rebooted when doing these certificates. You would then use DHCP option 150 or some other method to point the phones on the source cluster to the new destination cluster's TFTP server. Upon reset or power cycle, the phones will download the destination cluster ITL file and attempt to authenticate the new ITL file signature with the certificates in the existing ITL file. No certificate in the existing ITL file can be used to authenticate the signature, so the phone requests the signer certificate from the old TVS server 
on the source cluster. The phone sends this request to the source cluster TVS service on TCP port 2445. The Pulse Certificate Exchange provides a TVS service in the source cluster with the TFTP certificate on the destination cluster that signed the new ITL file. TVS returns the certificate to the phone, which allows the phone to authenticate the signature and replace the old ITL file with the newly downloaded ITL file. The phone can now download and authenticate the signed configuration files from the new destination cluster.